should be able to take this out. Warden will step up. We could use the Warden ability to get it on these hogs. Hopefully. Warden. 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 <laughs>welcome back to the channel everybody herpy durkin's back with another clash of clans video and today we're going to continue pushing through the top 200 us and hopefully making our way onto the global leaderboards let's get into it here we go i got the heroes king always takes the longest to wake up i feel like uh okay um hmm I think I got an idea. Let's see. If we can take out this single target, it's going to be really good for us. Uh, then I can walk my queen like pretty much down into the town hall. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so so far so good. Uh, we should take out that single inferno. We did invade the clan castle with that though, so that's really, uh, really rough. But now I can just walk my queen all the way down this side. And then I can have my king come on this side to funnel. I can send my hybrid in through here. So uh, it just depends, you know, when we engage the clan castle and how well we can queen walk here. And uh, I'm going to drop a wizard over here just to help funnel. Just to weaken that stuff a little bit. Make sure my queen's going the right direction. Okay. So far, so good. I'll drop another uh, Coco Loon. All right, I'll see you, Mitch. Thanks for stopping by, man. Oh, my God. Yo, it's late as hell. Yeah, get some sleep, brother. Thanks for stopping by. All right, so so far, so good. Uh, I don't want to wait too long to do the hybrid because then I'm going to time fail. So I'm going to start dropping a rage here. And uh, hopefully the clan castle can come out. Nice. We could deal with it right here. There is a lot of damage on us, unfortunately. Um, but not the end of the world. You know, sometimes you just got to deal with it. And uh, I'm probably going to end up freezing the enemy queen as soon as we engage it. Do this. Just wait one second so I could freeze this. All right. Drop my uh, my warden. I almost said king. Do we need to use queen ability? Not yet. I'll just use it right now. Um, king ability. I'll drop a heal right here. I'll freeze the town hall in the scatter shot. So we should be able to take this out. Warden will step up. We could use the warden ability to get on these hogs. Hopefully. Warden. 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 <laughs> warden, what was that? Like, what actually was that? Um, That was super interesting. I mean, whack. Really whack. But at least we don't have to get through another single target because then... Definitely this would not be a triple because that would probably just rip apart our royal champ and everything like that But we still have royal champ with her ability here. So uh, 45 seconds. It's looking pretty good for a triple right here. I Think we got this one in the bag. Just drop a minion drop all my wall breakers, whatever I I'm gonna see if I could get away with the swag and the royal champ ability But man, what was that my warden was like dancing around this wall. I don't know he's doing the salsa or something like that disco time I don't even have party warden on. I don't know what that's about. Doing a primal dance, trying to summon rain. I don't know. 98, 99, 100%. So uh, that was way better than the first attack. So uh, I think that was a solid plan. Yeti Blimp got huge value, even though we didn't bait the clan castle. And 100% uh, maxed out base. I love seeing that number, those nice even numbers right there. And 40 trophies to top it off. So that was pretty good. Let's see if we could keep on this hot streak. All right, here we go, everybody. Everything's up. Just got that fat triple. So you see this? This is um This is that base. Guy from MCS Co. That's cool. Um so unless he's you know adapted and he's put a tornado trap here, this should be an easy triple. Whew. Okay. So this is literally what I do every single time I attack this base. Just two balloons like this. Um usually try to get them onto the cannon and then just blimp. Drop my queen, drop a baby dragon. And uh, we should take out this single target. Nice. And we also pulled the clan castles. Now I could drop one of these. Do this. Get started with our wall breaks. And that's literally the only wall we need to break open. So we could just waste all of our things on that. And we'll drop a poison right here. Fortunately, we get all the archers in there. That witch should step up. Going to drop a rage here. 
Looks like we're taking some damage. And from here, it should be pretty easy. We just take out these two arch towers. Queen's going to walk in. And I could send my king maybe at the top uh, when that queen jumps over the wall to funnel. Okay, we'll just drop this last Coco Loon. Rage it up again. Uh, seeing if we need to freeze. Okay, king right there. Use the ability. Freeze right there. And, um, all right, so we'll come in with this. Okay. Queen is chilling. I'll rage up my queen one last time. And, uh, let's see here. Maybe I got a little bit too excited dropping my, my hog riders there. We could use this warden ability. We should be on the town hall. Nice. Freeze right here. Drop a heal. Hopefully something turns around. Maybe Royal Champ will turn around to take out that Town Hall for us. Nice. So, okay, we got the Town Hall here for sure. Come on, Queen. Queen, stop getting distracted. Just go in. Queen, please, just take out that Expo. Queen? Oh, no. No, no, no. Queen, please. Queen could have tripled this whole base, so we're going to have to see what happens now. I don't know. If she tanks this expo after this one healer dies, we're going to be in a good spot. No. She can reach that, though. 50 seconds. Come on. Oh, jeez. She has to take out this expo. She should take it out next. 40 seconds. And then we just have to get to that clan castle. So I think we're going to triple this one, too. Uh, a little bit rough on that. I guess I, I dropped the hog riders a little too early. I got a little excited there. So hopefully the queen doesn't go through a wall here. She takes out all these. And then she could just turn around go through this hole. I don't know if she's gonna, but if she does, that's gonna be a triple. Oh, uh, she's gonna hit the wall. 20 seconds. Can she get through a wall in 20 seconds? Oh, that's rough. That's rough. I don't know. I don't know, man. Five seconds, unless this is really low HP. Full HP, really? Come on. That's so annoying. So 99%. Um, we're going to end it with, <laughs> with a time fail. I mean, just barely didn't get that. I guess we should have just waited a little bit longer to drop uh, those, those hog riders there. But that's all right. 99%. We'll take that. We got the army. It's time to do this. Wow. Where's the clan cast? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Um, man, why do they gotta give me bases like this? Where's the easy stuff? Wizard, drop my queen right there. Drop like another wizard there. Oh, how are you tanking that mortar? All right, we'll drop these. This thing. Mm, wizard. And we'll drop a minion, take out the pups. I mean, every single time, you're going to want to do that. Really easy. Nothing crazy. Please take out the witch. Thank you. And now, queen should be going the right way. We could drop a baby dragon right there, because there's just only cannons. Drop archer. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll freeze that. All right, and then we'll drop two more. Rage. One to test. Oh, please. All right, nice. We got it. We got it. We got it. Nice. So I'll drop the king here. And we still have the blimp, which is really good. We still have the queen ability, which is also really good. And I think we could send the miners right through here. And this. Rage. Freeze. Heal right here. Send in my blimp. Warden ability. King ability. Self queen ability. So we're in a good spot right now. We're going to take out that town hall 125%. Uh, because we are on it with the Yeti blimp. Don't even need to use real champ ability just yet. Queen used her ability. It looks like we're going to start cleaning up over here. Um, I'm going to send in these two balloons to try and take out this 
bomb tower because if we could take that out with the balloons then our hogs don't need to take that damage and they just obviously just buff the, the um bomb tower so it's really nice to avoid that damage and we'll just start dropping some cleanup and yeah that's gonna do it that's gonna be the triple night wolf from uh i don't know how to say that clan name but if you can i mean props to you just 50 seconds left uh it's just a matter of cleaning up really simple so you saw what we did there was we sent our queen this way um from 12 o'clock down towards nine and uh, we dropped the wizard in the beginning here. Somehow it tanked this mortar right here, right? Uh, but the wizard basically took out these, so it doesn't make our queen walk on the outside. And she could just go straight in here. And we sent our king from here. And uh, the hybrid with the yeti blimp right there. Because it was a ring base, obviously. So the it was really nice for the yetis to be able to take out that town hall. And we also got the warden ability on the blimp in case we hit two seeking air mines which would have taken out our blimp and also we kept our hogs bro champ miners alive too so uh easy triple let's get out there we got to get a couple more so we can end positive for the day and then back on that top 200 us and closer to that top 200 global yo what up everybody so uh check it out today is the um next league day and uh you know so i'm recording this the following morning you can see it you know i already been attacked like what is that five times it's a really good day on defense honestly um but I just wanted to, like, I didn't record it last night, so that's why I'm doing it now. This is the uh, total results for the previous league day. Uh, we ended up with a couple of triples. It looks like uh, th one, two, three triples. Uh, we had two time fails. We had two really low percent two stars and one, like, decent two star. So, uh, overall, I think we're getting a little bit better. We are getting a few more triples every single day, so we are definitely getting more confident with this strategy and in with Legend League uh, in, in general. So, that's really cool. It's just we got to start getting these low percent two stars uh which i'm sure with time we will um but we actually didn't get attacked an eighth time so we got an extra bit uh boost on our league day because we didn't have to take an extra defense so we got plus 38 and uh, i'll just post a screenshot of it we ended up number 51 in the u.s and uh i don't know like uh, something global i'll just post the the picture right here in front of this but uh yeah so now that that we're at this point in the video i want to thank you all very much for watching if any of you actually made it this far uh so thank you very much i hope you maybe learned something i hope you like the content um if you do make sure to subscribe for more clash of clans content posted every single weekday at 12 p.m est don't forget to follow me on twitch i'm streaming over there like almost every single day showing off every single legend league attack uh, you know, good, the bad, the ugly, you know, whatever you want to see, it's there. I have a good time. Every, you know, there's new people, uh, like every stream, there's old people every stream, and it's, it's just fun for everyone to interact and to interact with me too. So, um, make sure to leave a follow and, um, yeah, I hope to see you guys back here tomorrow.